Okay, Ricardo Karate PU2 CLR has asked me to try his uh, latest uh, sketch for the 4732. I'll just pull the curtain a bit so we don't get so much uh, light. And, um, well, I've, after a bit of a struggle, which uh, probably don't do computer problems at this end, but after a bit of a struggle, I've managed to get the Arduino in my uh, original 4732 flashed with the new sketch. And those of you that have got this receiver, when I turn this on, you'll see immediately the difference. Okay, you can see the version is 2.0.4. But look, okay, my radio isn't defaulting to FM on startup. Uh, it was on AM on that frequency when I switched it off. And it defaults to that frequency when I switched it on again. So let's just... Um, Let's go somewhere that's got a bit of activity, maybe. I'm going to have to go back in and alter the encoder again. I can see my encoder's the wrong way around again. But uh, that's not really, a, not really a major issue. And um, I think it'll help if I switch the, um, switch the antenna to AM. OK. So, I'm going to switch to SSB. Okay, so we've still got the little chevrons with the S-meter. Now, you'll notice that um, the previous firmware I had on here, we had a larger uh, frequency display. Unfortunately, we've lost that just at the moment. Um, but I'm sure that can be that can be amended. But we're on 40 meters here. We're listening to a, a UK station on 40 meters. Let's just turn the receiver off. Okay, I don't know where I don't know whether this will memorize the mode as well because obviously we were in LSB. Switch the receiver back on. It boots up. And sure enough, they were back on uh, SSB on 40 meters. So, there we go. I think that works very well. Okay, should also point out, let's uh, switch to another band and let's go to uh, the volume down slightly. Uh, the other thing um, Ricardo's done here, on the steps we've, um, we've got one kilohertz We've got five, we've got nine, which obviously we want for a European medium wave. We've got 10, and we've got 50. So uh, again, it differs from the uh, other firmware I had on this, which gave us steps of um, 100. Ideally, I'd like to flash my ATS-20 with the firmware that I was originally running on this, but at the moment, um, I'll show you the inside of the ATS-20. There's a different appears to be a different Arduino board in there and I can't get the computer to talk to it at all so that's another another issue but at least I can I can play around with this this unit here so um, as we switch through the bands it will remember the frequency we were on on the the last band and if we switch the radio off, when we switch back on, it will go to the frequency we were last, the band and the frequency we were last on. So I think that uh, about sums up the changes. Um, <clears throat> I think if we step into 10 kilohertz here, I think um, Ricardo's got the full um, medium wave band here, as well as part of this, uh, the standard sketch. Actually, I could... Uh, Take advantage of the. Um, um, there we are. Yeah, we're on. Seventeen ten, seventeen ten, seventeen twenty. Yeah. So we've got the full, sort of extended medium wave band, which I think um, 
uh, is um, in use by legitimate US uh, stations and also uh, in Europe um, around uh, between 1600 and 1700 you get quite a few um, quite a few pirate stations so that's useful so there we go um, I just need to uh, just go back in and uh, change my encoder around again so we'll do that and then this little uh, um, set will be up and running with the um, the latest sketch that Ricardo's produced okay thanks for watching